Hey y'all and welcome to the Crazy Sock Lady YouTube channel. My name is Kay and this is my channel where I share all about my knitting, crocheting, all of my crafty things that I am up to. I hope that you all are doing well. It is Tuesday, May 25th. We are one week out from sock camp. Can y'all believe it? I am so excited. I can't believe that we are finally like a week away, that we are that close. Seems like it was like months away and poof, it's here. Um, I am working hard this week, getting everything ready to go for camp. We'll talk more about that as we go through the episode, but I just can't believe we are finally so close. I am just ready to go completely bananas with knitting all the socks, which I feel like I probably already do go completely bananas. So we'll see what happens <laughs> come sock camp. <laughs> I don't even know what the word will be not completely bananas if it's more than that I don't even know it's gonna be a little crazy so I have lots to talk about today but it's probably I'm hoping gonna be a little bit of a shorter episode because like I said I still have so much to do with camp prep stuff and a lot of like merchandise stuff that is oh got my hair um, merchandise stuff that is like all over <laughs> the office space here and We'll chat more about that in a bit too. There's some exciting things which I've been hinting at for weeks and I'm finally gonna show you some of those things and share those with you today. So yeah, lots to do. I only brought, I have a finished object and then I only brought one work in progress um, to talk about today. Cause like I said, I'm hoping this will be a little bit shorter because I've got to hop on the computer and get a lot of work done. Don't worry, we have mail. We have a giveaway for this episode that is so gorgeous. We have three winners to announce from last week's episode. I think that's it for today. So let's go ahead and jump right in. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as The Crazy Sock Lady. And we do have a group for this podcast on Ravelry. If you look right down below this video, can't remember if there's like a little arrow or it says more or there's something down below this video and it'll pop down a description box and that is where you're going to find links to where you can find me links to project pages shops that I talk about all of that is going to be down below so grab your coffee grab your knitting crocheting whatever you are working on and let's get started First we drink the coffee, then we talk. <laughs> okay, anyways, admin stuff. Get this stuff out of the way first. So like I said, camp starts one week from today, June 1st. I'm so excited. If you have not went over and checked out the welcome desk for Summer Sock Camp in the Ravelry group, I suggest that you do that. It is just like hopping and buzzing. And I try to check in once a day with all of the Ravelry threads and that one just, it makes me so happy every time I go in there. This morning, it like completely turned my mood around. I was having a little bit of like a sour morning. I don't even know. But that thread, going in there and reading through the welcome desk and seeing everybody's excitement and their prep for summer sock camp just completely turned my mood around for the whole day. It just made me so happy. I am so excited about camp. I can't wait to cast on all the things. And it made me want to go sit and go through my yarn and pick out what I want to cast on first and plan what I want to cast on. It really just made me very happy. So thank you so much to everybody who's chatting along in that thread. And a huge thank you to those of you that answer questions that pop up in there because I don't always get to them and you guys get to them first. and. I appreciate that very, very much. Uh, yes, the welcome desk, threads for like the different cabins. I'm gonna try to have the chatter threads up towards the end of this week. I'm gonna work on getting all of those ready. And then if you guys wanna start chatting and getting to know your cabin mates and all of the rules and details for the knit along will be in the chatter threads. Get to know your camp counselor for your thread or your cabin. Um, then you can do all that before June 1st. The official cast on date is June 1st or after. You can cast on after, but no whips, cast on June 1st, but you can go ahead and start chatting in your threads as soon as those are up 
in the Ravelry group. And I'll definitely announce on Instagram when they are up, but it should be towards the end of this week because I want y'all to get a chance to get in there and get to getting to know each other. And you can hop around to different threads in different cabins. You don't just have to be in the one. So you can be in all of them if you want. What else do I have to talk about with that? There is the video on YouTube. If you have questions, that is a great resource to watch that video. The welcome desk is also a great resource to see if your question has already been answered. Um, VIP campers. I have not went through the Google forms today to see who has responded, but as of yesterday morning, I was still needing 10 VIP campers to fill out their Google form. If you had not filled it out, I sent out a Etsy message last week and an email yesterday letting you know, hey, I still need that. When you purchased your VIP slot, there was a PDF attached to it that has more information about your slot, what you can expect. And then there's also a Google form that I need to fill out. That way I can ensure that I'm using the right email for you because there is an email with your Etsy purchase, but sometimes that's not, that's like just a PayPal email. It's not the one you want the Zoom links sent to. And then I also need to know how you want the pattern sent to you. So it's very, very, very important that I have that filled out ASAP. So check your Etsy messages, check your email. The email would be coming from summersockcamp at gmail.com. If you're not sure, you can always message me and say, hey, I can't remember if I filled out my form. I'm week two morning. Let me know that information. I can pull it up and double check for you. I think that's it. Oh, nope, it's not. <laughs> One last thing, and then I'm gonna show you my finished object. Pre-orders for Summer Sock Camp enamel pins and progress keepers. I've had a lot, a lot, a lot of Etsy messages and emails regarding these, wanting to know why have these not shipped? Where are these? When are these going to ship? Um, when those were purchased, it is in the Etsy listing that there is not a ship by date and that they would not ship in time for the start of camp. They were a pre-order, which means I did not have them physically here at the time that you purchased. I ordered them so that I would make sure I had enough for the amount of orders that came in. And then they have to be made by my manufacturers for both of those. I have gotten the progress keepers in and those will start shipping next week. If your order is only for a progress keeper, if your order included an enamel pin as well, it will not ship all ship until I have those enamel pins. And at this time, I do not have them. I have been in touch with my manufacturer because it is taking a little bit longer than it normally would. Um, and they are checking on that to see if they can get me a ship by date for those. Um, we're about a week past where I thought they would ship, but we'll just see what they say. Um, but I, as soon as I have them, I will be like hard at work, me, the boys, Eric will probably pitch in, we will get those out the door to you. And I will announce as soon as I have those and you'll start getting those shipping notifications. But all of that information was there in the listing that they would not ship by the start of camp. They would not ship until I had them. Um, so yeah, I just have to wait until I receive them. And I anticipate I should have them within the next couple of weeks. I don't see why it would take any longer than that. It's just, in, I feel like everything <laughs> right now in the world is taking a little bit longer than normal. So just a little bit of patience for a little while longer and those will be on their way to you. I can say I don't know if I'll do pre-orders again for things because I prefer to have it here in my hands at the time you order and get them out the door to you versus some, some people get mad when they don't get their stuff and it gets very stressful <laughs> for me being a one woman show here trying to do it and yeah, it gets a little stressful. So I don't know that I'll do pre-orders again for anything ever. <laughs> if I don't have it here in my hands, I don't think I'll do it. But um, yeah, as soon as I have those, they will be out the door to you. We'll be packaging and working to get them out the door. Okay, that's it for admin. Let's talk knitting. I finished my after the storm socks. I forgot to bring this down 
into the office last week to show y'all, but I finished the whole pair. So I was doing these for my 30 minutes of knitting in the morning. And towards the end of the second one, I was just knitting them whenever I, I knit them outside of the 30 minutes. I only timed the first sock. So I was timing, I always get asked how long does it take you to knit a pair of socks. So I timed the first sock to see how long a sock took me. And that was four hours, 39 minutes and 42 seconds for a sock. So, I mean, you can multiply that by two and see, you know, for a total pair, but this yarn is just beautiful. So pretty. This was the April. Yes. I think this was the April. Um, Yarnable Colorway. Stormwatch is the name of it. So it's from my April Yarnable box and I just love it so much. I actually kind of want to knit another whole pair of socks. I would have to use something for heels, toes, and cuffs, I think, but I don't know. It's so pretty. If not, I'm going to use this as heels, toes, and cuffs in something, or I don't know. This yarn is just gorgeous. So I knit this on nine inch circulars. I did a US zero two millimeter. That's what I typically use for a nine inch because my gauge is looser on a nine inch. Cast on 64 stitches or a size medium from the vanilla socks on nine inch circulars pattern, which is one of mine. I did a knit two purl two for the ribbing. And then my slip stitch heel flap and gusset. I love these so much. I did 50 rounds for the legs. Um, that's what I've been doing lately, which is, I used to do so many rounds. I think at one point I would knit like 80 rounds for the leg. I've definitely went down a lot from there, <laughs> but I've been doing 50 rounds and I really like that, that fit. So that's my finished object. Now for my 30 minutes of knitting, I've just kind of been grabbing socks and knitting them. Sunday I did, I think I just worked on scrappy socks. Yeah, for 30 minutes of knitting. And then I've been working on these for 30 minutes of knitting. This is in a bag by Stolen Minutes. She was one of our Summer Sock Camp sponsors for this year and this was her camp bag. She is gonna be listing some more of these, not a ton, but she's gonna have some more of these. Make sure that you are following her on Instagram and in her Instagram, you can click um, the link in her profile and sign up for her newsletter. Make sure you do that as well if you wanna see when the restock for these will be. So I, this yarn um, is by Mandy's Makings. I have one sock done. And this is her Stomping Grapes colorway. So this was for a tutorial for Haya Haya Flyers. One is done. And the second one, I am finishing up the toe. So just on the toe decreases slip stitch heel flap and these are the high high flyers they're us1 2.25 millimeter 8 inch length and i'm very happy to be almost done with this like i talked last week i think i just have not been enjoying the high high flyers i just feel like i can't still can't get in a good routine with them and that's okay every method of knitting in the round is not going to be for everyone so that's perfectly okay if these are just not something that there's something I know how to use, I can use, but I may not turn to all the time. And that's perfectly fine for you to have methods that you don't like and have ones that are your preference. It's, it's totally fine. Um, yeah, just haven't been enjoying it. Very happy they're almost done. Loving the yarn, but just not enjoying the flyers at the moment. I did the vanilla socks on magic loop pattern for this because it's the same layout, same basis. You have needle one and you have needle two as far as the layout of your sock. And then you're working with 
this. The tutorial for this will be up on YouTube June 1st for the start of camp. I did a size medium, 64 stitches, knit two purl two ribbing, I'm sorry, knit one purl one ribbing. I'm so used to doing knit two purl two. Knit one purl one ribbing. Slip stitch, heel flap, all the normal, normal things. I will probably get questions. So the marker is going down my sock. I place a marker every 10th, 10th round and it just makes it fast and easy to count how many I've done. So typically when I'm doing the first sock, I know how many I'll do on the leg. For this one, it was 60 rounds. And so I'll just place every 10th round going down. Then I'll do the same for the foot. And then when I'm doing the second sock, I just take the markers off of the first and place it on the second as I come to that spot. And it just makes it so fast and easy to make sure I've done the second sock to match the length of the first one. I think that was it about these. And like I said, that's the only thing I brought down. Sorry, short and sweet for the knitting today, but these are really kind of all that I've worked on lately. I have worked a little bit. On Sunday, I worked on Eric's scrappy socks. And then I've worked here and there on the sock that Carrie and I cast on in Kentucky, our matching socks, um, here and there on that. But not a ton of progress on either of those. So that's kind of all I've really, really done progress-wise, I feel like, was on those two. I really want to try to get as many sock whips as I can off of my needles by June 1st. It's probably not going to happen. I'll talk later about all the things that I have going on um, right now work-wise and personal-wise. It's just a lot within this next week. So I don't think that I'll get everything done, but I'm going to try to get as many done as I can and then June 1st just go completely crazy and cast on a bunch of new things. Okay, mail. Mail, mail, mail. I have a couple of things. Oh, so I received this. I received a package from Jay, who is a viewer in Australia. And I just brought the yarn over to show. He sent some treats, some cards that were super cute. The treats have already been opened and they are almost gone. It was um, Tim, Tim Tam, Tams. <laughs> I think was the name of it. It's in the fridge. Um, they're very good. So I thought I would show the yarn. This is Bendig Woolen Mills. I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly. Multicolored sock yarn is 100 grams, 70-30 wool nylon. So pretty. Look at that in there. I can't wait. This is probably gonna have to be a camp cast on because I'm so excited to use a yarn that came all the way from Australia. And the name of it is Oriental Flowers. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, I think it's gonna have to be cast on for camp. almost spilled some things. Okay. Other goodies that we have received are these little, there, there's three of them. They're all the same. Yes. So we have three of these. It's a little, it's wood on a key ring. And on the back, it has the Kitchener stitch. Very, very cute. So this was a donation from a viewer and she said that she hopes this will be as helpful for someone else as it has been for her. So three of these, these will be going into prize packages for Cam. Then Erica, who is a viewer, she sent some project bags. Um, she does not have a shop for these. She just sews as a hobby and thought that these would be useful for prizes. So we'll go through those. 
this fabric is so pretty and these are all boxed bottom snaps open up this one so you can see the shape they are so very well made perfect little bag for a sock project so there's that one all these fabrics are beautiful and these ones are so cute so more to add to the summer sock camp prizes okay i want to grab her card out of here so this is from wendy of cabana berry designs i'm gonna i'll have links for any shops down below She designed this drawstring bag to hold all of her sock projects. It would be, she said it would be perfect for summer. So this will be a giveaway for this episode along with one other thing. So this bag, I'm actually going to open it. Okay, this fabric, she is exactly right. This fabric is perfect for summer. Look at that. Inside is polka dots. Box bottom. Drawstring. So much fun. So this will be one of our prizes for this podcast. So we'll go through the other one and then I'll tell you how you can enter so skein cocaine sent over some yarn for me to try out and it was actually funny because i just bought a skein of her yarn first skein of hers that i've ever purchased um when i was at the kentucky sheep and fiber festival from the yarn birds yarn truck she carries some of her yarn so i actually bought a skein there And then she sent over three skeins for me to try out. So this one here is daffodils and these are all on her hot sock base, which is 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon, 437 yards, 113 grams. So this one again is daffodils. bright perfect summer colorway this one is the special I think this one is so fun oh my goodness <laughs> just popped right off of there I was going to show you her logo here we go I was just saying, cake me up right now and cast me on right now. Okay, and this one is Dear Diary. So this one is actually, I bought the same colorway at Kentucky Sheep and Fiber. So this I'm gonna go ahead and use as a giveaway since I already have a skein of it. I'm gonna share the yarn goodness and it'll be with the bag perfect I think so this will be our prize for this episode to enter to win this prize all you have to do is comment down below and then I will draw a winner next episode which should be next week so great prize I think this week I just have a couple more things I want to show you and then we will announce our giveaway winners from episode 141. So 
So I have been teasing and teasing and hinting at all of the things that I have been working on behind the scenes. And I'm finally going to share some of those with you today. So I have, these are right here. What I'm going to show you right now are some more prizes for summer sock camp, but they're also things that I am going to be carrying in my online shop right now. It's still going to be through Etsy. I am looking at moving it away from Etsy, but for this moment, it will still be an Etsy. So my thought process with carrying these things is I always get asked a lot, where can I get this? Where can I get that? Um, where'd you purchase this? Where'd you purchase that? For a lot of things, but in particular, my favorite sock knitting or knitting notions in general. I mostly only knit socks, so we'll say socks. <laughs> but I usually always provide links for those. And the ultimate dream and goal one day for me is to own my own brick and mortar store. Right now, I just think with the way that things are in the world, that seems pretty terrifying to open up a brick and mortar store. So baby steps towards that dream. I'm gonna be stocking my favorite sock knitting notions and needles online from crazy sock lady like i i'm so excited about this so one of the things that i has become like a must have for me i do not knit any socks without this is a sock roller i love these so much i'll be doing a video on these for summer sock camp but i have five of these that the company donated for summer sock camp prizes. So these will be going in as prizes for summer sock camp. But a sock roller, it's this piece of plastic here. It's probably gonna get a little bit blown out. And like I said, I will do a video on this as well. But it just has, it doesn't have shoe sizes or anything. It's just measurements up through here, inches. And you can use this toe up, cuff down to measure your sock. These are a must have for me. The one that I have, I've had for years and I actually have like kind of etched in with a pencil where I start the heel on my socks, where I start the heel on Eric's socks, my mother-in-law's socks, um, where I start the toe for an afterthought heel. Like I have everything etched in with a pencil on my sock roller. It is a must have for me. So I have five of these that'll be going as prizes and then these will be in the shop and I'll talk more about when after I show you all. But these will be one of the things that I will be carrying. Now lately you've probably noticed when it comes to needles that I'm working with, I have started exclusively using Chow Gu needles. They're all I want to use the needles, the cord, they are just the perfect combination. I've used so many over the years and went back and forth on using this one more and that one more. And every time I just land back on Chowgu needles, I love them. So they are also something that I will be stocking in my shop and Chowgu, oh my goodness, this thing is full of giveaway items for summer sock camp. Absolutely amazing. So this out here. there are quite a few of these drawstring backpacks and then pull these out here and I'll just go through what they sent and then I'll kind of give you a run through of what you can expect to be stocked in the shop for now. So they sent... some nine inch circulars in a variety of sizes it looks like here. So we've got some 1.5, um, US 1.5, 2.5 millimeter and nine inch, US 1, 2.25 millimeter and nine inch. We have a pack of US 2, 2.75 millimeter and nine inch. They sent us some double pointed needles, US 2, 2.75 millimeter. 
And then they sent some twist sets. So this one is a US zero two millimeter. It comes with two cords and two needles, a two inch and a three inch needles. And then this one's the same. It comes with two inch and three inch needles and it's a US 2.53 millimeter. And these will, it says here on the back, um, the different combinations that you can make with these. So you can make it nine inch circular. It tells you right here on the back what you can make. They also sent some extra twist cables in the two inch a pack of those and then a whole set a whole twist set so generous of them to put all these in here for camp giveaways so what can you expect to be stocked in the shop with chow goo for now it's going to be like i said sock stuff uh, maybe down the road we'll expand out and carry other things as well but right now sock stuff so you can look for sizes us 0 2 millimeter us 1 2.25 millimeter and us 1.5 2.5 millimeter i had to think what's that next one and the lengths that i'm carrying are nine inch in all three sizes 16 inch in all three sizes for doing two circulars like um, the tutorial that's coming out June 1st, 32 inch for Magic Loop, and then a 40 inch for two at a time. Also, I'll have double pointed needles. Right now, the only size that I'll have for those is a US 0 two millimeter double point. The other two sizes were back ordered, so I don't have those yet for double points. But that's what you can expect to be stocked for the Chow Goo. Okay. Just a few other things and then we'll announce giveaway winners. So I had a lot of requests for, if you've been following since last summer, you know last summer I carried mugs, uh, wine tumblers, and a couple of other drinkware, I guess, items. The mugs are not coming back because I'm, I just can't with things that are ceramic that I have to ship because the post office it's like brutal with them. <laughs> and I did not get like refunded for anything that broke last year. It was a mess. So not doing the mugs again. I apologize. Any mugs can be found in the Spreadshirt shop for now. Maybe down the road that'll change. But I did bring back wine tumblers because they were so requested and I love them too. So the look of the wine tumblers that you will see right now, we have this great teal color there's definitely going to be a bit of a glare from my lights but this says crazy sock lady these are stainless they come with a lid they are hand wash only but there's going to be this teal and then also a fuchsia i just have not unpacked the fuchsia yet so you can expect both colors of the wine tumblers or you could use this for coffee tea whatever you wanted does not have to be wine and then also there's gonna be a stainless crazy sock lady tumbler so this is I cannot remember does it say in there I can't remember the amount of this but it's a good sized because uh, I like a big cup. I mean, this is the one that I, I had this custom made. This one will not be in the shop, but it's a good size. It's bigger than that one. I love a big cup for water all the time. <laughs> so this will be in the shop. It is just silver stainless with a pink fuchsia font. Again, it has a lid. You could use it for coffee, ice water, iced tea, whatever you wanted. So this will be in the shop as well. 
that's it that I have to show for now. Um, I'm also going to have some little, excuse me, Notions tins that are silver with the Crazy Sock Lady sticker on them that will have some light bulb stitch markers and progress keepers in them. Now, when can you expect all of this stuff? So, some of it I am hoping, fingers crossed, will launch June 1st at the start of camp. But we're coming down to the wire here and I honestly don't know that that will happen. I'm hoping by the end of next week, some of this will be listed in the shop. Um, I'll be adding more things as we go. I am working on stocking my favorite little scissors and different various notions, but I don't have those yet. So as soon as I have everything, I will put it up in the shop, but I'm gonna be just adding things as I can, hopefully starting next week. Definitely keep an eye out on Instagram. I'll post in the community tab here on YouTube talk about it on the podcast whenever they are ready to go. So I hope that you guys are excited about that. I'm so excited to start offering my favorite things because they're my favorite things. So why not share them in that way with y'all? So yeah, let me know down below what you're excited about. What things would you maybe like to see me offer in a crazy sock lady shop? Man, one day, maybe that'll be a brick and mortar store one day forgot to turn my phone on do not disturb as usual okay that's it for mail and things that I needed to show today so winners from last episode we have three we had the giveaway for the sock pattern the continuous socks by Brooke Arvin and our winner for that is Lindsay Lemon so Lindsay congratulations if you would just get in touch with me all winners you'll need to get in touch with me at crazy sock lady podcast at gmail.com. Lindsay, I'll just need to know how you want your pattern. Do you want it sent you on Ravelry? What's your Ravelry name, etc. Our second winner was for the $30 Canadian shop credit for birds and butterfly. And our winner for that is Hannah Burns, which I thought was perfect because she commented that she's in Canada. So <laughs> even better. <laughs> so Hannah, if you would just get in touch with me at my email, crazysockladypodcast at gmail.com, and I will coordinate with you and get you that code for your $30 shop credit. Our last prize was for the Summer Sock Camp sweatshirt and the skein of yarn. And our winner for that is Danielle Boots. So Danielle, congratulations. If you would just send me your shipping information and I will get that one sent out to you ASAP. So that is pretty much it for this week's episode. Chatter. Um, I've kind of went over shop stuff that's coming. Super exciting. That's been taking up a lot of time trying to curate like what things I want to have and get those ordered and find the best places to order them, etc. But it's been a lot of fun and I'm very excited about it. Like I said, I hope that y'all are too. We had a fun weekend. So I had talked here on the podcast about my dream vehicle and I have been saving to buy a Jeep Wrangler in the Snazberry collar, which is, I had this mug made, or not this mug, this cup made custom and I asked her to match it as close as she could to the Snazberry collar. I mean this collar is just everywhere. Look my nails are that collar. <laughs> the cup is that collar. The cup is sparkly and the Jeep is not but um, she matched it very well to that. So I did not think that that would be happening for quite a while but we actually bought my Jeep on Saturday. I still am in shock. I still cannot believe we did it. We were just like, let's go look and see what they'll give us for the vehicle that I had. And it just was one of those things where it just worked out. And it was probably the easiest, smoothest, fastest process of buying a car that we've ever had. It was like in, they were going to give us way more than we thought that they would for the vehicle I had. And that Jeep was just perfect. We did look at a Gladiator, the truck, um, because that is what I originally wanted. 
but when it came down to it, it was like, okay, I actually probably don't need a truck. I'm going to be hauling groceries and yarn, <laughs> which I don't doubt I could fill up a back of one of those with yarn. But really when it came down to it, it was like, okay, I, I don't really need a truck bed. And then they had that Wrangler there and she's beautiful. She's the snazberry. She's got the black accents that I wanted so bad. I mean, she's just perfect. So I'll put a couple pictures up here of the Jeep. Her name is Rosie. Yes, I named her. I think Rosie's a perfect name for her. She's great. So we got her on Saturday and then when we got home, we loaded the boys up. They had no, they knew we were going to the Jeep lot, but um, like I said, we didn't really go with the intention of like, we're actually going to be able to do this today. Like I said, it just kind of worked out so well that we were like, uh, we need to do this today. But we loaded the boys up and went for a Jeep ride. No, we did not go off-roading. I had a couple of people ask when I posted on Instagram that we were going on a Jeep ride, were we going off-roading in her? No, we, I don't think I'll take her off-roading. <laughs> She's pretty. Um, a Jeep ride to me is just, you put the top back. Back, I say, because her full top does not come off. She has a power top that just like the top goes back and then you can take the back windows out. So it gives you the same feel of having the top off of your Jeep, but you don't actually have the whole top off. Um, a Jeep ride to me is just you take the top off or put the top back and you just go for a drive out a back road, drive around. So we did that with the boys. And then Sunday, Eric and I went on another ride so yeah, I anticipate and I see like so much fun in her to come. We already have a couple of other places around here that we're like, okay, that'll be a fun ride to take the Jeep and, and go there. So lots of fun to come, I think with her and yeah, I'm still in shock. Like I said, I just can't believe like I, I look and see her and I'm just like, oh my gosh, she's mine. And that probably sounds so ridiculous to say that about a car, but when you've wanted something like that for so long, like I have, and you've saved for it and worked really hard to make it happen, it's crazy. It's very rewarding, but crazy at the same time to actually see it happen. So I'm, I'm, I don't know. Yeah, I'm very excited to have her. So we did that over the weekend and then Coming up this week and this weekend, Eric's mom will be here Thursday and she's staying until Tuesday, I believe. And Friday, Eric and I are actually going on our very first weekend trip with no kids. Like we have never, just the two of us, went somewhere for the weekend or like on a trip or anything. We didn't have a honeymoon, nothing. So this will be our very first trip with no kids. Eric's mom's gonna watch the kids and animals and we are are gonna go on a weekend trip. So I'm very excited about that. We leave Friday and we'll be back Sunday. The first week for VIP campers starts Sunday. Camp starts Tuesday. So it's just like craziness <laughs> around here, I feel like. All great and amazing and exciting things, but a little bit of craziness. So that catches you up on what is going on around here. I hope that you all are doing well. I hope that you're excited for camp. I can't wait. Next time I sit down to chat with y'all, it'll be, it'll be camp. Oh, so exciting. So I will be doing an Instagram live for the start of camp on Tuesday, June 1st. I can't remember the time off the top of my head. It's in my planner, but I'll put that down here. The time could change, but this is the anticipated time for that Instagram live to kick off camp. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and I will post a reminder and things leading up to it so that if the time changes you do um you'll be able to see that and anticipate that so all right I think that's it for today I need to go get all the VIP camper work done get threads ready and opened up so much to do and I'm loving every minute I will see you guys again next week for the next episode until then happy making bye